I really love that feeling of discovering a new country. The first emotions can be described in a few words. Nothing is clear, but very interesting. The first thing that surprised us was that there are a lot of pickup trucks here, and the roads are so wide, it seems like we're in the US, and there are only a few bikes if compared to Bali, for example. But when you look up, you realize you are in Asia. Meet our bike. It's Yamaha and Max. Everyone who lived long time in Asia sooner or later choose a Max or PCX. The size of bike allows you to travel long distance more comfortably. And also there is enough engine power to climb any hill with two people. In Phuket the most popular recommendation is the condos. It's super small apartments that have everything you need for life. We found, in our opinion, the best condo with a view of Patong Beach. What I like the most about our condo is the rooftop with the pool, where you can watch the sunset overlooking the ocean. Let's break down where this Phuket is. Phuket is the largest island in Thailand. In the north it's connected with the mainland by three bridges. The tourist center is Patong Beach, next to which is Phuket town with a pretty good infrastructure. Phuket is the best place to start your journey through the islands of Thailand. The most important thing in Phuket is of course the beaches. We traveled to almost all the beaches and chose the best ones. So here is our top of beaches in Phuket. Patong Beach. It's not the best beach, but there is something to do here. It has its perks. <laughs> Sometimes there are more masseuses here than the tourists relaxing on a beach. Thai massage is a big plus of Thailand. There are so many massage salons. Wherever you pass, you will be beaconed for massage. Sometimes I think they are not really massage salons, but I haven't checked. After the massage, your friends might make fun of you and ask if you had a happy ending. I love hearts and beaches. It's so cool place to walk near the water or even better to jog. We flew halfway across the world and now we are here. I also like the way they launch parachutes right from the beach. During the launch a local quickly climbs onto the slings without a safety rope and probably he controls the parachute. You fly on the top? Yeah. You yeah. control? Yes. Not scary. Him monkey easy, no easy. Monkey. And then the sun goes down, our favorite show starts. Pick up trucks, pick up the jet skis all over the beach and hold them out, hitching to each other. We love to watch it. Ten minutes from Patong is Karon Beach. There are few people here 
and the water is very clear. But the main feature of this beach is the sand. It crunches like snow. Karon Beach, like Patong, is also very long, which makes you feel spacious and has long walks on the beach. This is Freedom Beach. We like this beach the most. There are two ways to get here. The first time we arrived by bike, saw a cafe with the pigs and went down through the beautiful jungle. For the second time we took a boat early in the morning at Paton Beach and went to the wild Freedom Beach. We used a traditional Thailand tail boat. This beach has everything for visual treat. Beautiful palm trees, white sand, smooth stones, turquoise blue water. Sometimes the water is so clear that it looks like a boat is floating in the sky. And these are the very images I saw in my head imagining Thailand. But this country turned out to be even more beautiful and interesting than I imagined. And this is just beginning of our journey in Thailand. Naihan Beach is the best beach on the south part of the island. It has a very different atmosphere and different people. A lot of expats live in this area and they adjust this part of the island to their comfort. The vibe of this place reminded me of the Chango in Bali. Next we head north of Patong, and here we have highlighted two of the best beaches. First one is Banana Beach. This beach is hidden in the tropical thickets, and now it's a popular spot for tourists. The palm trees here are so cool, and my husband was so glad to fly between them like a bird. Especially we like the beautiful road that leads through the jungle to the beach. And the second one is Nai Yang. It's a beach with airplanes. 
This one of the most interesting places in Phuket. It's like fishing here. Catching a big fish. Instead of fishing rod, they had a camera. And instead of fish, they are huge airplanes. This hobby called spotting. The planes here fly very low and very often. Emotions are inexpressible. The coolest thing is when such a big metal beast flies over your head a few meters away. But you get even more joy when you catch it in the frame. We are done with the beaches and now we need something more active. There aren't really big waves for surfing. So the main water sport here is jet ski. On the jet skis we go in the search of inhabited islands near Phuket. Oh, it's such a thrill to ride the jet ski on the ocean. And the most importantly, we have a goal to reach the Paradise Islands. First was Rang Yai, an island where we saw an abandoned hotel. And this is where we saw a snake for the first time in Thailand. After that we went to even more beautiful island of Kolipi. And last were the Free Kai Islands. After that we went on a trip through the mangroves amazing experience. This is one of the best adventures in the recent years. You can see monkeys in the mangroves and even feed them with bananas. The main religion in Thailand is Buddhism. Religious locals come to the altars in the morning to make offerings. The main offering here are flowers, incense and red fanta. Yes, yes, a red fanta. We were very surprised. Thais themselves are not very into drinking it and only buy it for offerings. There is a story that the red drink was not very liked by locals. So then Coca-Cola ran an advertising campaign, saying the red color is sacred, protect from disease and evil. And as a result, now near the altars you can see many bottles of strawberry Fanta. Here people believe in karma and I think because of that the island is pretty safe. Traveling around the island we were very often met elephants. 
Elephants in Thailand are a sacred animal and a symbol of royalty. But they are exploited here for the entertainment of tourists. It was so sad to see these guys chained up. So you should avoid attraction where animals are used for riding or performing. It is very comfortable to travel around the island by bike. There are wide roads with perfect markings and traffic circles like in Europe. And sometimes we even felt that we are somewhere in Croatia. There is no this crazy crowd of bikers which kept us constantly in tension when we traveled around Bali. Here on the roads you can relax and enjoy the views. Yeah, that's the motorbike. I can take you look. Take with you around, okay? I have bike, sorry. But most of all on the road, we love to hunt unusual pickup trucks with camera. Let's have a look at our small collection. Here's a pickup with coconuts. Pickup truck with pineapples. These are the kind they used to transport tourists. Waste paper pickup, pickup truck with the garbage, and these guys must be catching street dogs. General pickup trucks here carry everything that can be transported, even elephants. It doesn't matter what kind of house a local has, as long as he has a pickup truck. And some people have a whole car fleet of pickup trucks in their yard. If a Thai doesn't have a pickup truck. It should have a motorbike sidecar. They are called Samlor Gaina. Here they carry tourists, family, various cargoes and most importantly food. Often the food vendors cart have a bike on the other side to which all of this attached. I think it's very convenient. We were very surprised, but even experts use such a sidecars. They carry dogs and sometimes children in them. Living in Thailand, we really like street food, as it's very delicious. We try to eat in restaurants and cafes, but street food is much tastier. For many Thais, this is a family business that is passed down from generation to generation. We even have our favorite street vendors that we always come to for a snack. Roti Thai pancakes with fruits are the best here. I get with mango and banana. And this is where we always order Pad Thai. It's Thai fried rice noodles with chicken or shrimps. We also like gyoza, it's fried dumplings with different fillings. But the main dessert is a stir-fried ice cream. The most delicious on my taste is with mango and passion fruit. But there is one thing, this white powder is MSG. They added it to almost every dish and even to fresh juices and smoothies. So we had to memorize one phrase in Thai. My Sai Pum Shulet. My Sai Chulot. My Thai churot. My Thai pum churot is without glutamate. No, yeah, no, 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 no inside. No inside. Yeah, yeah. no inside. And you put everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Palm oil is used to fry these pancakes. In Phuket, we found the whole plantation of palm trees that are planted to make palm oil. It is very important product in the modern world. We eat it. We use it in cosmetics, in industry. But at the same time, because of mass production, tropical forests are cut down to plant such a plantation, which harms the environment. Couples like this are very common here. Many older foreigners come to Thailand and hire young Thai women to look after them. So if you don't have plans for retirement, I'm joking. The most party street in Phuket is Bangla Road. Let's walk here and see what is famous for.
In the evening the streets are filled with the unusual cabs. I call them tuk-tuks on steroids. Pickup trucks, big tuk-tuks, white roads, not like Asia. You can feel American spirit here. During the Vietnam War, there are American military bases in Thailand. The largest of them was located near the fishing village of Pattaya. In a small at that time village Pattaya, American soldiers discovered a beautiful bay with beaches and palm trees. Here they found temporary peace from the war. Later this village became a center of a sex tourism and was the beginning of the development of tourism in Thailand. We came to the Sea Gypsies village on Ravai beach. The Thais call these people Chao Le, which means from Thai, people of the sea. They are nomadic tribes that fish and harvest pearls. By the way, there is an island of sea gypsies in Thailand. There we will go in the next videos. Phuket really surprised us. We discovered a new Asia. I like the contrast between civilization and the nature. You can quickly move to a city with a modern infrastructure and huge shopping malls and quickly get to the paradise beach with turquoise water and palm trees. We continue our trip around Thailand. See you on the other islands.